need his dues. The strike two pitch to Reed Johnson, and the right hand hit a grounds at foul outside of third. I have a problem, and I hope you will understand and bear with me. One of the finest men we have ever met, and a great broadcaster, he's in the Hall of Fame. Ernie Harwell, the voice of the Tigers for so many years, who started with the Dodgers broadcasting in 1948, passed away today. The strike two pitches outside, ball one. But there's a great story about Ernie, who came to the Dodgers in 1948 and 49. Then he went to the Giants, and then he was with the Detroit Tigers from 1960 to 1991, and from 1993 through 2002. The pitch to Reed Johnson is down and away. So I really want to salute him, and at the same time, I don't want to get in the way of the ball game. So see if we can possibly do both. Two and two, the count to Ernie Johnson. Before Ernie Harwell ever made it to the big leagues, he established a record as Reed hits it foul down the line. What happened was in 1948, the Dodgers were in Pittsburgh on an off day. Red Barber was going to play golf at the Pittsburgh Field Club, and instead he hemorrhaged and was rushed to an emergency hospital, and the Dodgers had one announcer, a good one, by the name of Connie Desmond. But one announcer with a full season ahead is pretty tough. Two two pitches high, ball three. Now, Branch Rickey, who ran the Brooklyn Dodgers, had a friend by the name of Arthur Mann, who ran the Atlanta Crackers in the Sally League. So Branch Rickey called Arthur Mann and said, I need your announcer. And Arthur Mann said, I need a catcher. Here's the 3-2 pitch coming up to Reed Johnson. Fastball lifted back of first. Down the line, a trio of Brewers. It'll be the right field of Corey Hart making the play, and we have one out. So a deal was set up. The Dodgers sent a catcher, Clint Dapper, to Atlanta. And the Atlanta club sent Ernie Harwell to the Brooklyn Dodgers. So Ernie was the first and only baseball broadcaster to be involved in a trade. He was such a lovely man. Everybody loved Ernie. And eventually, he just stole the hearts of everybody in Detroit and the state of Michigan, and for that matter, anybody who loved baseball. Russell Martin takes high ball one, one and zero. Oh. Ernie was blessed. I mean, really blessed. He lived to be 91, and he was married for over 67 years to the same lady by the name of Lulu. There's a ground ball to short. Up to get it is Escobar. Takes care of Martin. So we have two down in the first inning. Well, Ernie passed away just uh, about two hours ago or thereabouts. I never could say God bless you to Ernie because God had blessed him indeed. And from what I heard the last time I talked to him a couple of weeks ago, he was ready to go. He was totally and completely at peace. You and I should be that lucky. So anyway, we say goodbye to Ernie today. Detroit's in Minnesota. I wish they had been home, but they weren't. And we have lost a very dear, gentle soul, Ernie Harwell.